In recent videos on the channel, I have been exploring a lot of the myths and misconceptions when it comes to coaching. Like, isn't coaching just goals? Or isn't it just a kind of a conversation? Well, in this video, I'd like to explore something that comes up in virtually every chemistry conversation I have with someone who's interested in coaching. And that's the question, doesn't coaching go on forever? I'm Dr. Richard McKinnon. I'm a chartered psychologist and coach. And on this channel, I like to share insights from the world of psychology to help you be your best self. So let's start with why people might think that coaching is something that's just gonna go on forever. Well, one of the simplest explanations for this misunderstanding is that people are quite naturally mixing coaching up with some other kind of helping professions, such as counseling, therapy, or even mentoring. Those relationships can go on for much longer than a coaching relationship. And when it comes to psychotherapy, it might be one that goes on for years, particularly with mentoring. You may have the same mentor for big chunks of your career. But it's really important to understand that counseling and psychotherapy and mentoring, well, they're quite different to coaching. The second reason, and it's a little bit more difficult to unpick, is that when someone is looking to work with a coaching psychologist, the challenge they're wrestling with or the decision they want to make, well, it's causing them some form of distress. And so they're already thinking to the future about how they anticipate needing some kind of support, some kind of work with their coach, until the whole thing is resolved, or indeed until they're feeling comfortable about everything. Now, this can be a difficult conversation to have because we're not going to have a coaching relationship forever. We're gonna to work together until the coaching program is complete. My job is not to get our coaches to a place where they feel comfortable about everything, but until they're taking the valued steps towards what's really meaningful for them. And of course, as you've heard me say before, sometimes that stuff is uncomfortable. So it's not about work with me until everything is finished, but let's work together on this topic, on this challenge, on this decision you want to make or this goal you want to attain, and I'll get you there. But then you can take what you learn from coaching and generalize it to lots of other situations, challenges, problems, and setbacks. So what does it look like in reality? Well, the kind of coaching that I and other coaching psychologists provide is time limited, by its very nature. I tend to work with someone once a month for about an hour for a maximum of about six months. Now, this isn't written in stone with some kind of evidence-based support for it. Uh, it's me search, not research, but in general, I find that busy professionals have enough time within a month to reflect on what they've learned, to put some things into practice, to experiment with new ways of being or doing, and then come back for another coaching session. And when I explain upfront that we have these six sessions to work with and that we're gonna be all done in six months, it can really help bring a sense of focus to each session, to sort of let's, let's wring out as much value from this conversation as possible. Because like it or not, if you believe that you have a coaching session available to you every month forever, well, it's quite natural that you might decide to put things off to the future that you might wait to bring up certain topics um, until you feel more comfortable about them, or that you might not put the work in here and now because you know at some point in the future we'll get to it. If you know that you've got a, a budget of six sessions, well, that changes your perspective on what you wanna do in each of these sessions. It changes it completely. So one of the ways I like to put it is that coaching can represent a chapter in your personal development book, but it's not the entire volume. In other words, coaching can be like a tool in your personal development toolkit, but it's not the only one that you should rely on. Now, towards the end of a coaching program, sometimes clients will begin to ask, when we're done, does this mean I can never speak to you again or that we can never work together like this? And of course the answer is, of course we can speak. Of course we can work together again in the future. Let's look at it realistically. As life goes on, we as humans will encounter new challenges, new problems and setbacks, 
new opportunities, new transitions, new opportunities for growth. All of those could represent a great opportunity to work in a coaching context. And so I don't shut the door. I don't say, uh, never again do I want to speak with you. Um, but I'd love to work with people again in the next phase of their development on a different topic. And what that doesn't mean is that you're going to build up a sense of dependence or an ongoing relationship with me, but we're here to do one thing. And when it's done, we can always pick up another time. And of course, I love to hear from my coaches long after the coaching program has ended, uh, because as a practitioner, I really like to understand what difference coaching has made for them, uh, how they're putting things into practice, how they're making their decisions, how they're growing and learning and achieving what's really important to them. So fundamentally, it boils down to this. Why don't we continue coaching forever? Because it doesn't really contribute to a sense of focus or accountability. It doesn't really contribute to people making those big steps towards what's meaningful to them. Continuing coaching indefinitely does not help anyone. And that's why we have these time-limited coaching programs. Now, I hope you found this useful. I hope it's cleared up the topic of the duration of a coaching relationship. If you've got any questions, please drop them in the space below. You can find out a lot more about our coaching ethos via this introductory video, which should be appearing, and uh, on the website. And I'm gonna to link to those resources below. As ever, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.